Ahoy there, baby dolls. Welcoming you back to crypto's juiciest news. Bitcoin still sitting around $62,000 for this October weekend. And we are waiting for a conclusion of this Floptober, Greentober debate. Is October going to repeat what it did in the past? Now we have the channel right there, as you can see. We're obviously looking forward to a push up. If we go to the weekly chart, and we remember exactly one year ago, what happened? We had a one, it's kind of crazy. We had literally this red weekly candle for October and then up only. <laughs> I'm wondering if this is exactly the same thing that's going to be repeating. This is kind of crazy. It has bounced exactly off this 21 EMA on the weekly chart. So that's what's going on right now, friends. I've got some juicy news to go through you today. So the rest of the crypto industry, what's actually been happening right now, friends, is there has been a bit of an awakening and a bit of an awakening. And all the stuff I was talking about since 2022, literally the bear market, right? Uh, when it just came to me, it's kind of crazy in the midst of the chaos. I'm like, oh, we need cults. And it was just starting to slowly come to me. And I didn't know that cults would be a thing or a narrative whatsoever, but it's basically, I was basically like ground zero, patient zero. And now we're slowly seeing people come out. For example, we see Morad now making PowerPoint presentations, talk about all these memetics and, and communities, all these other things that are coming out here. And, and a lot of people are like looking at it like, oh, wow. But look, all I was doing is telling people what they already do. It's just like a comedian goes on stage. When he's, if they see a funny joke, right? Like, oh, isn't it? weird how people shake hands you know that's what they do they're like oh you know when people shake hands like you look them in the eye why don't you look them in the chest or something you know they, they make these jokes and quirks about human pers human traits that we do that we don't even know why we do them okay but uh i feel like that's what i was doing with the crypto industry the whole crypto industry i'm, I'm looking at it like wait this is basically what's going on here and in a nutshell friends crypto it's not a stock in a share they have a different meme Okay, the stock market, when the stock market goes down, there's a money printer that comes and activates and it flushes everything with currency units. Plus, you already have the meme of investors. So whenever there's a big, big, big collapse, okay, when you have a big collapse, so you even go back to the GFC and stuff. When you have these big collapses, yeah, there's a lot of uh, turmoil. But what eventually happens is the market players in there they price stocks from their future cash flow. They say, well, how much money are you going to make in the future? I want to buy a share of the company. That's the meme, okay? You can't trade stocks like you do crypto. You can't buy popular stocks because you're going to get, because if you keep buying popular stuff, it doesn't mean they're like, they're not like super, super profitable, right? Sometimes like the most profitable companies, you haven't really heard of them. They just have like insane PE ratios or they're like really, really profitable uh, and really, really cheap to purchase, okay? Um, but in crypto, it doesn't work like that. In crypto, we don't have any cash flow. It's like a commodity. Everyone's holding their own commodity in their hands. And then obviously, look, what I did was I started, I remembered something that Elon Musk said. So Elon Musk, he goes for the, from the fundamentals perspective. He always talks about fundamentalist, fundamentalist, fundamentalist. I'm like, bro, what does this fundamentalist word mean? I've got fun and I've got mental. What the hell does it mean? Okay, it basically means, I'll give you an example. When he was making PayPal, he went to the question of what the hell is money? So he spent hours and hours and hours researching, thousands of hours researching, what the hell is money? What am I actually doing here? And then he realized, realized, discovered, oh, money is just a ledger. It's just an accounting system. That's all it actually is, even the physical notes. So that's why they were able to basically turn, you know, PayPal from a $0 company to like billions of dollars worth. Okay, well, in crypto, I did the same thing. I said, well, what's everyone actually holding? What are they actually holding? Because there's no cash flow. And then I started to research, of course, the, the beginnings of Bitcoin, them getting called a cult. And I'm saying to myself, well, why are they still holding when this thing goes down? There's obviously no cash flow. Why do they even hold when it goes up? It's because they believe. They believe. And then I obviously would figure out, oh, what actually backs a crypto? Because everyone would say, oh, your coin is not backed. Your crypto is not, not backed. These were the big arguments of like a few years ago, right? And then I obviously I came to the conclusion like, wait a minute. Everything is only backed by the bid in the market. That's it. And Bitcoin, even at 1 trillion market cap, it doesn't have a trillion dollars of a bid. It only has about $30 billion, about 2 to 3%. That's it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, that's crazy. $30 billion is backing 1 trillion. It sounds so scary. But yeah, that's the market. That's the network. 
And that's exactly where we're heading off today, friends. That's why as, as we see this crypto market place, okay, you're watching stocks go up. We're watching the global liquidity and everything tick up. That's what I want you to basically come come to terms with. And it's the fact that um, we're all only in it because we believe. And it's okay for you to say, this is a Ponzi, this is a scam, I don't believe. Join. Join something else. But what you'll actually find is, for every one person leaving, there's like five joining. Okay, so what are you going to do? I'm asking you, what are you going to do? It's the highest growth rate. That's why crypto altcoins are growing at 55% per year for the past five years. Bitcoin's growing at 40%. Stocks are only growing at 8%. You get it? That's why we still believe. That's why even though there's no cash flow, and we're watching this other's BTC ratio st still tick and grind along. That's why we're still in it, man. That's why we're still in it. And it's kind of funny, friends. We all know, like, I'll tell everybody, go sell your coins right now. Go sell them. I'll tell you right now. Go sell. Literally, go click sell now. Memes are all scams. Go sell Pulse Chain. Go sell all the Pulse Chain altcoins. Go sell Ethereum. Go sell Bitcoin. Go sell everything. You're too scared. I know you're too scared. Why are you too scared? Because I'd be too scared to do that. You want to know why? Because I know for every one smart person leaving... There are 10 retardios joining. You know that. You know it in your bones. You know there's so many currency units out there. People are now throwing currency units in it. It's a whole different paradigm of how they, how they uh, I don't want to use that word, by the way, but it's a whole new way of how they approach stuff. But it's because we're commodities. That's why. We're half commodity, half equity. That's why crypto moves like the way it does. That's why if you're looking for cash flow, you're going to basically get the flunkers. You're going to buy a sushi swap. You're going to buy a maker down. They're not the ones that are, you're going to find the doge, for example. And that's ultimately why, friends, when I read for you this next news post, you're going to be like yawning and go, who cares? Okay, so Coinbase had to delist Tether USDT in the European Union because of non-compliance. And I have a clown emoji here. So obviously all these delisting and regulation stuff, they'll eventually, they'll eventually capitulate. That's what happens, friends. Government, um, I don't know why, everyone has like a really, really, really big placement on these government stuff. But I realize it's because the bigger money, their Gen Xs, their boomers, they have bigger dollars to throw in. And they grew up listening to Mr. Government. Oh, Mr. Daddy Government, please tell me, what am I allowed to think today? Dude, young people, when young people coming up, they're literally the last people we need to worry about. They are literally last, okay? They have no idea what social media is. They don't even know what a Game Boy is still today. All they know is, oh, what's a Game Boy? They, th they think in the events, it's always funny. All these boomers, they think like an Xbox is a Game Boy, is a Nintendo. You know, they have no idea between them. That's why we always joke about that. Oh, you're playing on that Nintendo thing over there. Like that. You know what I mean? So that's why we don't take them seriously. That's why when crypto came in and you're seeing all these like people in suits, all these gray haired folks in suits, okay? Now, gray hair's awesome, friends. You can, have a, you can be a silver fox. But all these old people coming around, they're too rich and powerful to care. And that's why we see this movement out here. And they're trying to tell you, oh, those things will never grow. Those things, because they, they get so cocky and pompous. And then I, well, we're basically I do all my research and I find out, wait a minute. You guys never have power from the start. Actually, what happens is a bunch of retardios, the fringe of society, you know, right? the drug addicts, the drug dealers, the anarchists, the cyberpunks, all of them, they come in and congregate somewhere. And because they refuse to leave in a product market fit that they see there, Somebody comes and makes a business out of it. Look what Binance did, friends. CZ's Binance. Okay. The crypto industry had to have this anarchy, fringe of society, gambling stuff first. Then he could make Binance. You see, he could make Binance first and go, hey, make an industry from this exchange. I want you guys to all gamble between each other. No. What came first? Bitcoin came first. The anarchy came first. You see? Also, what's been plaguing the news for the crypto industry, HBO documentary says Len Sassman is Satoshi Nakamoto. Could be wrong though. I'm going to show you this post here. So this is Len. You're going to see this picture out here. Len, friends, he's actually encoded into the blockchain chain itself. Okay, I'll show you the picture here. They've actually put the picture of him. Len. Len was our friend, a brilliant mind, a kind soul, and a devious schemer. So, I mean, it could be him. It could be him. This is Len. Obviously, a PhD, startup founder, entrepreneur. But um, it says from Belgium, but he, here's the thing. He's got some anti-Bitcoin type of posts. So these are all these Bitcoin posts. The big Bitcoin heist shows Bitcoin suffers from the worst of both worlds. No strong anonymity, yet no fraud reversal protection. So it just, it doesn't feel like Satoshi, if he would, he, bro, you just made Bitcoin. I don't think you're going to be writing, oh no, there's no fraud reversal. Uh Friends, if, if you are a Roman Empire transporting 
you know, like 300 kilos of gold across the sea somewhere because you want to go buy some slaves somewhere. I don't even know if they did slaves. I'm not a history guy. But let's say we're going to buy some slaves because I want to trade the slaves for another Game Boy. Okay. Really old, ancient, ancient Game Boy, okay? Um, ancient Pokemon they were playing. If you lost the gold in the middle of the sea, where's your fraud transaction? <laughs> They're like, dude, you're not getting the slaves and you definitely ain't getting this Game Boy. All right? That's it. It's game over. So that, that's why we have that here. That's why we have scarcity. That's why they go up. Because you can't make more of them. That's why the stakes are high, friends. It's like, I don't know if you ever played, there was um, hardcore mode of like Diablo. There's hardcore mode in World of Warcraft. You die once, it's over. I remember playing it once and I was like, I'm going to play really, really super safe. And I'm going to make it to the end. Ended up dying in like an hour or something. And man, I've, I don't know if you want to watch stuff. Want, I don't know. These, these are crazy, okay? There are videos on YouTube. You can watch like hardcore mode people playing and there'll be people that they played for like nine months and they'll just, they'll die. They'll die. Oh man. And have to, their whole account's gone. It's just, it's crazy when you see it. It's like real life. There's no respawn. Right? That's nuts. That's what Bitcoin is. There is no respawn. You know what? No, it's crazy friends. In, um, in, in gaming, this is how I knew Bitcoin's like a video game and everything's going to be big. Okay. It's going to blow your mind. When Counter-Strike of the game came out, you remember Counter-Strike, okay? You see Counter-Strike fans. Now, Counter-Strike, it was really popular. Why? Because before that, everyone was playing Quake. And in Quake, you have infinite deaths, pretty much. You're going around, everyone's just shooting each other constantly. It's who can get the most points. But with Counter-Strike, what they did was, when you die, you don't get to respawn in a second. You have to wait till the whole round is over. You're dead for three to five minutes. Those are the original rounds were five minutes. And no one had seen anything like it. Whoa. When you die, you got to sit out. That penalty made the game go insanely popular. Because now, this concept of risk-reward made people marvel at the scarcity of this. So you, if you'd run out and you died somewhere, you, like if you, if you, it's basically like doing a, a, a volley kick in, in soccer, right? If you miss it, oh, you're going to pay a big, big, big price, okay? And that, that's what made the thing even more. That's why this, this product market fit about here. That's why humans wanted a product market fit where there's, there's no way to reverse this transaction, buddy. We actually want that. Isn't that nuts? So that's the type of, that this, what I'm showing you now, that's philosophy, qualitative stuff. You, you can't get that from a PE ratio. You can't get that from a stocks guy. Hey, you're a Wall Street guy. I'm a Wall Street guy. Where's the, where's the balance sheet? They don't see a balance sheet. They don't know what an asset. We don't have asset liability, bro. That's it. It's a game. You understand? It's a game. Now, here's the thing. You might not like the game, but for every one person not liking it, there's 10 people who do. So what are you going to do? Sit on the sidelines. Keep playing your old game. We'll see where you are in 10 years. In some other juicy news as well, friends, Pulse Chain ecosystem continues to be green. It's actually done very well for the past 30 days as well. We have, these are 30 day results, friends. So we're still zipping along. I think I have the hex price chart here. Look at this. This vertical line is the October 1st court date. Now, if I was a duck named Greg, okay, and I had access to a lot of money, I would enjoy hex. See for this price here, friends, hex. I would enjoy hex going around here. Why? That would mark about 1,000% gain. Okay, wouldn't that be amazing if on the court date, the lawyers go in. Richard knows this, dude. He's not, he's not stupid. <laughs> they go in and they're saying, Your Honor, the coin that they're whinging about is up 1,000% in 40 days. That's right, 1,000%. And look at all these people who can verify it. They're like, yes, we went from a third of a penny to now three pennies. 1,000%. That'd look good, wouldn't it? There's also been these PowerPoint presentations circulating over the weekend, friends. This is Bitcoin through the lens of a global monetary alternative. Now, this guy, friends, I think is from, I think, South Americana. He is an actual Roca Negra. That's right. Black. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? He's an actual worker there. And they are talking about this. I'll, I'll show you the picture again. Now, why is it? Why is everyone going nuts? Look at the far right. Bitcoin. Fixed supply, high volatility, governance, cost to move. So they're actually doing this. And they, oh, when I saw this, friends, I'll play some pump music. I'll play some pump music. I could just, it's so obvious what's happening, man. It's so obvious. So it's pre programming. It's starting. Okay, it's starting. Now, friends, you may be telling you, I've been telling you for how long. They have to kill the fiat system. The debt can never be paid. Okay, we know mathematically, not like where we're going to find the money. No, the debt literally mathematically can't be paid. They have to rebase to the shit house. Okay, that's it. 
Uh, but there's a problem. The problem is they need to move everybody off if they want to reset everything. Okay, so here's remember I told you, friends. If I want you to leave from your home, I can't get you to leave unless maybe I rob your home and I start a fire in there, and then I put rose petals out to your another home out here. Like, oh wow, I left my home. It was so bad. I'm in another one now. So what they're basically doing is that Bitcoin's a big movement. It's got 300 million people in there. You think the government's not looking at 300 million people? Of course, they're being told, hey, there's 300 million people. That's the size of America. The size of America is in this thing. We better get a grip on it now. So they're showing Bitcoin as a solution to the problem, which is a load of crap. Okay. <laughs> you, think gov- you think the government's... Friends, Max Kaiser owns like probably 1% of the supply. Half a percent of the supply. You think the world government is going to give Michael Saylor control over one percent of the world power, and Max Kaiser half a percent? Because they bought an imaginary internet coin. Right, to, from their perspective, it won't won't be like that. But so there's a, there's obviously something that's going to happen here. Um, when they say Bitcoin, that's another thing. See, so he said, "Oh, Bitcoin." No, 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 their Bitcoin. That's obviously what's going on here. So their Bitcoin fans, it could be. Their, what their version is, it's, you know, a place where self-custody is banned, banned, regulated, okay? Um, they micromanage all the liquidity ramps. You can already see that, okay? So in the next 20 years, we will see them move into that great reset that was pre-planned. So obviously the great reset's already, we already know it's coming. But to do the great reset, friends, they have to kill the system. They can't just go, hey, everybody go move to this other thing. They're like, why? What's in it for us? People ask that question. But if they're killing the system... And there's a crash, and there's all these banks that have to get like uh, basically absorbed, right, into the big jello, which is the US Fed. Then people are like, oh crap, the old system's archaic, you know, look at the way interest rates work. So, just one example, it's so easy to understand. They can micromanage interest rates. So, what they can do is you have an ID to your bank account, and you have your age. And what the government will do is, okay, if you're under the age of 30, your interest rate is literally 0.1% in that bank. So you're constantly spending, you're looking to make money, okay? And then what they can do is they can balance that out. They go, oh, when you hit when you hit 50, your interest rate of savings is like 3%. When you hit 65, your interest rate goes up to like 6%, okay? That, that's their savings, right? The, when you, the interest rate that you're getting for the savings. See what, see what I mean? They can like micromanage this across the whole country uh, when it comes to that. And they can do a lot of other things. So like, okay, here's your ID, the hospitality industry was affected by whatever, uh, you know, whatever zombie virus. And they go, okay, we can get a stimulus package to everybody who is in that sector of hospitality. They go, bang, it goes into your account. So that's how they're going to paint it with those good stuff. But you ultimately know what the real reason is because, oh, you can't pay off the debt. You can't pay off the debt. So you're going to do these like little sweetener deals and stuff out here trying to kill everybody off. But why I even think about this, friends, is uh, I like to imagine... When euphoria comes in our market, I go, oh, we're at the top of the mountain. Like like I said, friends, in, in Lion King, right? You remember the hyena land? You remember it here? The skull bones is the barren land, friends. You remember this? The hyenas. You remember that? Okay, you're in the Lion King. They're looking over. This is what it's like, these skulls and these bones over here, right? They're looking over. It's just like the most perfect image right here. So I want you that that we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're still in the green, the lush, the ikuna matata. Right, that, that's that part we're in here, okay? I'll show you. Here we are with Simba. Here we go. And everyone's having fun. We're moving around. Say, so, yay. See, so that's going to be euphoria, okay? That's going to be euphoria. We'll finally make it up to the top. We're not there yet. We're not there. But we just like to flex. Got to flex our minds so we can uh, just just know what we're eventually building up towards. And, and don't, don't get me wrong. Um... I'm completely aware. This just for friends, you know. Then the next wave, you know, the the people who go hardest, the most, in the next twelve to twenty four months, however this bull market goes, the people who end up buying aggressive altcoins when Bitcoin's two hundred k, those people will be the ones who are going to be first in line defending Rock Negra and the government, saying, "Ban this crypto, regulate it, regulate it." My child lost $50,000. He didn't know what he was buying. He thought he was buying, you know, fix the money, fix the world. Instead, he was buying, you know, Michael Saylor's turbo leverage long back <laughs> with him and getting destroyed. That's what they're going to be the ones cheering, cheering for our death and then basically wanting like refunds and everything else out here. And they're going to outnumber us, but that's what we have to live with. Okay. So that's why I'm telling you, you get long now. You don't wait for that. And you already know that, friends. You read deep value contrarian investing because all these non believers, look, trust me, man. When the non-believers come, 
you're going to know. Okay, you're gonna, I already can see it. I can already have this precognition, remote viewing. I don't know what it is. I can already see it in my telegram. People are like, Sammy, Sammy, look at this guy. And I'm like, whoa, that guy's calling us a scam. Now he's buying in and he's not to be trusted. Okay, he's going to be the first in line. You could just see it. And also, friends, don't forget there's going to be like a mother's group. There's going to there's gonna be things coming out. Just, But that's next bear market stuff. For now, we're still on the way up. Make sure you watch my video here, friends. Pulse Chain 100X. Pulse Chain is repeating Cardanzo's story from 2020. This is a content-rich video just telling you the similarities between Cardanzo, ADA, and, and Pulse Chain community is really, it's striking. It, it's the exact same thing. Richard Hart, Charles Hoskinson, Colt, Colt, right? Fringe, Fringe. Uh, just there's, there's too many things, basically. You, you can't ignore them. You'll be doing yourself a disservice if you ignore them. What I can do now is just show you. If you type in ADA, friends, you can go to ADA's market cap. Let's just show you what ADA was able to do. It went to 100 billion without smart contracts. It actually launched smart contracts on this day. This was actually it. I think I sold after I came back down or something. I forgot. I think it came up here and I came back. Uh, I forgot. I really do. Yeah, I don't remember. But something around here. I just knew, oh, crap. This is, I think, I'm actually, I might have put it into Pulsex. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot. But I'm just showing you what's possible around here. And look what it started from. It started from uh, 1 billion. You see that? 1 billion up to 100 billion. No smart contracts, just a call. And Charles wasn't telling people to buy ADA. He wasn't even talking about ADA token price at all. He was just talking about, we're going to go to Africa. Decentralization. We're going to fix the voting system. We've got a bigger visions. All these other things. And he attracted people. And people wanted to buy. That's it. If you, this way you, you learn, friends. You learn. Your friend saw me highest value content in crypto. Not even close. You don't even need to tell people to buy a token. You don't even need to tell them a token exists. You just need to make them feel like something big is happening. And you don't have to make them feel. You just have to. They just, they just do it, man. They, they price network effects based off people. That's what they do. They go, oh, this guy sounds important or sounds big. I don't know. I just feel like buying. You see that? You don't even need them, man. So, I mean, look at XRP, for example. You didn't even need XRP to be decentralized. You didn't even need Ripple to be uh, a nice institution or whatever. You didn't need them to do anything. But they made you feel like you are on the same team as them when they're, like, defeating the SEC. That's it. And people bought XRP for a 2X. They just bought XRP on the SEC case. See? So I'm just, just telling you how what we're doing as humans, how we like allocate our currency units in this digital game. There are all these patterns and observations that I've been able to see all the time, and I'm, I'm using them to our advantage. That's how we know we're going to win. I even got my thumbnail here, right? So this is the pulse chain. So that is, remember, Cardanzo fees, friends, hit 100 billion. And there's different ranges you can use. Is, Cardan is, is pulse itself going to hit 100 billion? Look, obviously, I hope it does, but... Uh, right now, it is, if you go to gopulse.com, it's a, almost 1 billion. Okay, so look at this. Okay. Just telling you, man. That's right. If you buy low, if you buy low, you don't need it to get to 100 billion, man. If it hits 30 billion, oh, my gosh, from today, oh, my gosh. Like, if you have, if you have six months of living expenses invested in the whole Pulse Chain ecosystem, remember, everything's tied to PLS. If you have just six months and then pulse the speed goes up 30x, man, you've got you've made you've made 15 years of wealth. 15 years you can live now. You can pay some to the government. You sit there earning yield. You see what I mean? Oh, and then, okay, worst case, you need one more cycle. But in the next future cycle, you're gonna need like a two or three x max. You see, this is changing your life. Really, is changing your life. Now you have something to look forward to rather than like Mr. Stock Market. Oh, well, you can retire in 40 years, little chap. Come in and get your 8% per year. That's going to be great. 8% per year. 8% per year is awesome if you've got a 10 mil clip. Yeah, that's 800K. Maybe 500K after tax. That's good. Okay, knowing that the government's going to have to rescue it no matter what. You don't have 10 mil clips, do you? Don't forget for the happy times, friends, we are going to show you some I friendships. With steel with this sword. Now, check this out. This is a Venn diagram, and it, it's 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 basically it's like a personality question test for yourself. So, losing money, are you losing money now? Do you have a dopamine addiction, and is your health declining? Okay, so three negative stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you. 
Look at this. So the people fit in to like either two or three of these things. Okay. If you are hopefully right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna exit this losing money part. So you haven't lost, we're not losing yet. It was going down. Now we're moving into the part going up. But for the most for the for the while, right? When I say a while, I mean uh, it's basically been four years now, almost for altcoin, three and a half, four, four years. Okay, uh, three to four years. Everyone was losing money and your health was declining. Okay, so basically you were at the casino on cocaine in terms of. <laughs> You have no ability to rationalize with reality at this point. You're, you're drug and fueled. You're playing a losing game and the lights are going on. And you're just like, well, how do I end up here? You know what I mean? Like you're just, you know, you're, you're in a hangover sequel at this point. Okay. There was also, for those people, friends, it was funny. People who weren't losing money. So they they like, hey, I'm not losing money anymore. What they're actually doing is, either doing like these weird yield farms or they're doing this short-term trading stuff and that stuff here and there, okay? But they still had a dopamine addiction, okay? So that, and they had a health decline, okay? That's pretty much, that's what that short-term trading stuff was doing, but now we get to join them, okay? So I feel like this is what the next bull market phase is gonna be for us. We're gonna have a dopamine addiction and our health is gonna be declining. Because, you, by the way, you're not going to feel like your health is declining. You're going to feel like everything's on top of the world, but your health is actually declining. Your sleep's going to get less. You're going to check your phone more. Friends, I, I get there's a, I actually have my own bull market indicator. Uh, I don't even remember. There's one of that big, big, one of the big, biggest traders, uh, Seth Cohen or Steve Cohen, whatever his name is. I think he did a lot of insider trading, I made like billions and billions. I think it's worth like 40 billion or something. Is uh, in market wizards. I think I'm pretty sure it was him. Or maybe it was someone else. He, he has a secret indicator. And his indicator was, I remember reading this a long time ago. And he said, when his back would start hurting in the trade, he knew he had to get out. Okay? He knew he had to get out. Now, I read it. I was like, well, that's weird. I don't agree. I don't, I don't think that would have happened to me. But I actually have one now. I get RSI in his hand. Because I'm freaking typing and I'm mouse clicking. All day, all day. Screenshot. Right. Happened in 2021. It, it happens in the waves. You know, in March this year, when it, when it was something funny, it actually started happening. I actually, I made a I made a comment on one of my videos. If you actually look, let's look at Pulse, I started getting RSI here, friends. I started getting RSI. I'm not joking. I started getting <laughs> all these phone calls are going nuts. I remember, friends, I told you like, guys, there was one day I got like I don't know, like seven or eight family calls, friends and stuff. You know, because God bless your hearts. Not everyone knows that. Guys, you know, there's literally uh, at any moment in time, there's like a, a string of 48 people trying to contact me, right? Half of them are just scammers trying to ask personal information. But yeah, it's literally 40 at any time, any time, just constant DMs. And I got RSI up here and I remember saying, I've got guys like, I, I don't think it's over, but like that's my bull market. <laughs> that's, my, that's the euphoria signal. So back to this Venn diagram. It, it's just funny to think about. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to have a health decline. And it's going to be a dopamine addiction. And the dopamine addiction is just going to be the candles going up. Because, look, it's not just the candle. It's because you, your body, your body, your soul, your mind, you know the candle going up means people joining. Okay? It's like you were mayor of a city and there's just one road going in and out. And you just sat there at the gates. You just sat there with your binoculars and you're just watching. And one day, okay... Two cars come in, nothing. Another day, two cars come in. And then the weekend hits and you watch like 30 cars come in. Whoa. And then that gives you enough dopamine for the next week. And then it's like two cars again and then two cars again. And then maybe a month later, there's only like 10 cars. You're like, oh. And then three months after that, 30 cars again. Wow. And then it's like this is one day where it's just a jam out. It's like, oh. 300 cars came into my city. That's what everyone's... <laughs> I don't know why, but it's number go up. The number is going up. That's what we like seeing, man. So dopamine addiction and health decline. There will be a lack of sleep and extreme risk taking. By the way, health decline will also be spiritual health decline. But you don't need to worry about that because these types of people, friends, coffin dancers... Grave, grave dancers, yeah, there. That's where that's where it starts to happen. Now, baby dolls, there are a lot of altcoins you can grab 
anyway in crypto, there's a lot of Soilana ones. You can grab them. I just, I want to buy it cheap, man. I just like buying cheap. Peak on Pulse Chain is actually doing very, very well. It's up to 6 million mark cap. It's actually very, very nice and juicy. I have 250 million up here. Target, the targets mean nothing, friends. It all depends on the speed. So Pulse Chain has 260,000 people. Okay. So if you think, okay, can Pulse itself, can it do a 50X from today? That would be around seven squared. Okay. So it's around, you know, 50X is near 49. That's about seven squared. So I'll write it down here. Let's actually go to the chart just so I can go through through with you. So this is Pulsex. And remember, Pulse, Pulsex, Pulse, it all, it all means the same thing, okay? So if you do, so current base equals 260,000 people, roughly it's approximate, okay? If you want 49X price, you need 7X user base. You get it? So basically, you have to do 7 times 260,000, which I'll do that. 7 times that, it's about 1.8 million, Okay. So can this 260,000 island, this religion, can it get to 1.8 million? That's a 50x. I think that's a nice number. I think it's very reasonable to get there. And with that, the daily user base goes up, right? Remember, the daily user base, friends, is easy. You can 10x that. So, and, and just to let you know, you don't need them to all be there forever. You just need that many people to feel like they want to get in. That's why it, look, when I talk about Richard Hart buying the coin trends, we're already in, man. Okay? We're already in. You and I can't impact the price. I know who can impact the price. I know what they're holding in their portfolio. I know what they're looking for. Okay? They're looking for a quick flip. They're looking for a free ride. And by the way, they're not going to get in right now. And I know what they want to hear. Okay? They don't want to hear free speech, freedom of movement, real DeFi. Okay? They don't respond to that. Okay? They're wrong. They should respond to that, but they don't. I know what they want to respond to. Okay? They want to respond to risk-free trade. That's what they want. They want someone to basically paint a story that's a risk-free trade. And look, there is no risk-free trade. But once I told them, by the way, this is as risk-free as you get. This guy literally has 170,000 Ethereum. It's going to be worth $1.2 billion when ETH is 7,000, okay? $1.2 billion. It's literally going to buy up his own tokens. Now, I don't know how much. Maybe it's only 60,000 of it. Okay, whoop de doo Instead of a billion dollars, only $600 million is going to come flush these things up and make them rocket to the moon, Okay. You have a chance to front run. You literally have a chance to front run. Okay, so that's that's why I'm that's the type of people I'm speaking to because I know they're going to respond to that, friends. Because we're moving into, okay, the non-believers starting to enter. I also get asked, what's going to pump next? Okay, Pulsex friends has now flipped green on the weekly super chain. It's actually beautiful to see, right? Because you know you got hex Pulsex, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here we go. I'm hoping hopefully it goes around here around day one sack. Uh, the ratio, by the way, is absolutely monster, both for Hex PLS and Pulse X PLS. Wow, this ratio is like climbing and climbing. Um, look, what's going to move next? I have all of them. We like all of them. Look, don't don't just go all in on one. Please don't. Please don't. I, I know what you're going to do, man, because I've just seen people do it all the time. The one thing that moves up, if it so happens to be the one you didn't choose and it's moving up in the next 30 days, people start FOMO buying it. But if you own it, you're like, oh, I wish I had more of it. But you say that about every coin, okay? Just don't make any rash decisions now. Now, I want to quickly slide this in. It's actually, friends, it's really the most important. I have a must-see video here. If you can find this, watch it, okay? You said you said that you were on vacation and now you're moving this small child to the airport. I thought you were on vacation. So, friends, this is... A, I'm not even going to say it, okay? The Coconut Intelligence Agency Contractor. That's right. That's right. Exposed for, I mean, I, I don't want to say this to get flagged. Child exploiting, okay? Trafficking. You see that? At, at the airport. And do you want to know what happens? It gets, it gets worse than this. Okay, look at this. This reporter, he basically stalks them. He stalks them, friends. Here. They leave in such a panic. Yeah, there's a there's a van full of kids at the airport. There's a van full of kids. They leave in such a panic. They leave their luggage behind. Look what he goes and does. Look at this. Look at this. Do you see the people at the airport here? I think this is like a Mexican airport. They refuse to talk to the camera. Okay, but look what happens. This air, this journalist, by the way, man, this is real journalism. This is literally real journalism. Okay, and look what he, he ends up speaking to him in the back. He doesn't know he's got a secret camera. Okay, he doesn't know he's a secret camera. And this guy basically says, look, man. He actually says to the journalist, keep doing what you're doing. I'm not allowed to talk about anything. Uh, we know what happens. This is this is the worst part, okay? 
The journalist asked, wait a minute, why don't you check that kid's ID or that guy's ID, you know, the, 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 the coconut intelligence agency contractor? They're like, oh, we're just, we're not, it's not policy. You're not allowed to answer why. Literally, bro, who gets to walk through an airport without a passport? Isn't that wild? Look at this. See, I can't talk to you about that. I'm trying to ask you, why do you guys ID US citizens when there's children? You don't ID them. I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, so this world's a lot more darker. Friends. And obviously, this is what I have to tie it into crypto. Okay. You, there's a Bitcoin maxi out there. Of course, I love Bitcoin, friends. Bitcoin, the way, the truth of life. I've got to buy Bitcoin, son. I'm just telling you, as a Bitcoin maxi who wants to cuddle up to Roca Negra, okay, you want to funnel your love and your cuddling up. You want to go to the tentacle, the octopus that's actually funding that with, through its private wallet, control of the government. You really want to do that? Oh, come on, man. That, that's, I'm just telling you, like, just, I hope you remember little of these snippets. When euphoria is here, because this is going to be thrown out. Everyone's going to be thinking about $100 billion Pepe, all these other meme coins. Look at the guy with the Pikachu hat, Pulse Chain, Richard Hart's back to streaming. Everyone's going to be like, there's all these endorphins and everything's going up. I just, I just want you to know, like, hey, there's a boom cycle and there's a bust. And in that bust, you're not going to like it. So you have to protect yourself. And I, I will be, I'll be giving general warnings and stuff out here, friends. Not that everyone's going to listen, but I'll be telling you, hey, okay, I want the bull market to keep going. But please, for the love of God, I know you guys have your secret little Bybit exchange, Binance exchange. I know you have leveraged things out here. I know you do. Please exit them. Just exit them. Okay? Keep your other stuff. Keep your other stuff. That's fine. It's fine. Exit, exit them. Okay? And and I want you, you don't have to panic about any of these, about doing any rash decisions and stuff. Just the leverage one, that's the one that'll kill you because they can force you out. Okay, because in a bear market, even though everything goes down, friends, if you're holding coins, the thing is you have a whole year where everything's down 90%. You have a whole year. So you can go to all your poop and rotate it into like stronger stuff because they're all down 90%. You can actually do that in a bear market. Okay, so yeah, bear markets are, are nasty, but you can do that. However, if you have, like, I know, man, there's some people like, I know, I've, I've seen there's people out here, you're going you're gonna to have a meeting in your portfolio, you're going to watch an MM crypto video, he's up. 10.2 million on a trade. I'm not even joking. You know what I mean? Because uh, it's like turbo long. And you don't know, bro. Like the guy's got a couple of hundred BTC minimum. He's, he's making he's making multiple Bitcoin from the from the, from the the um, commission on it. And you're not going to use a stop. I know you're not, man. I know you're going to throw in your million. Uh, you're going to have your million. You're going to probably take in like 50K, try to turn into a 500K. Yeah, well, maybe the first time works. And then you lose 700. But you don't, I, I just, I, I just don't want you to go through that at all. So I do make posts like this, friends. This is obviously me with Eric. Are you sure? Yes. But the language I'm using here, this actually for everyone in Pulse Train, everyone community out here, you want to talk about, you want to talk to the people who are watching from the sidelines who actually will participate next. This is the stuff they want to hear. So listen carefully, all right? Watch and learn. So I write, you could have turned one Bitcoin into five Bitcoin by buying Hex just one month ago and dumping it right now. Total gain 5X on BTC. But instead, you have to watch the Phoenix Resurrection play out. So of course, this is what the people want to hear, okay? That's what they want to hear. Because you think about it, okay? People now, friends, everyone's locked in, okay? They've locked in to what they think is going to go up heaps. Now it's bull market speculation trading vehicle things. And if they start to see a vision, oh, wow, this thing's going up. Trust me, Benson, you don't have to worry about that. You All they need to do is get in and watch it go up. Okay? You can tell them, tell them, get in and sell on a 2X. You can actually tell them that, but only one in 10 people actually do it. 10 people buying, once they see it go up 2X, they're not getting out. They're not getting out. They're just, well, <laughs> it's working. I've never been anything like this. Wow. Right. And then you have, by the way, you have, look at this, okay. You have... This, this is a Twitter account, Altcoin Gordon, okay? Look at this. 460,000 followers. He's making posts. He's, he's bagging out hexagons. He's, he basically made a joke saying like, um, um, how could you live with yourself if your mother gave birth to someone who bought hex? He made a joke like that. And look at this, man. You have like a 1,000 follower Pulse Chain. Pulse Chain. Shout out to Brandon. 
It's been the best performer out of the top 100 since rate cut. You trade with your V, mate. And then he goes, look, looks like I hurt yours. But this is the this is the funny part, friends. Look at this. You have all the hexagons coming in. He's just got like one like, same view. See, so I, I'm just showing you that there's so much evidence here that the engagement and the power and the energy is through the roof. And you're asking, how's a 460,000 Twitter follower account make a comment like that and no one engages? No one's engaging. Okay, you, I know that you know, I know these friends with even mine, I got what, 30,000. When I make a reply and stuff, even if it's like really, really off topic and, and maybe two words and stuff, it'll still have like 12 likes. Okay, so everyone's seeing that. So that's, that's what you, the, in a nutshell, what, you get, what you're seeing is these accounts, they're running their same strategy from 2021 and 2020. So what they did is, just so you don't know, is a lot of people joined crypto and everyone knew, oh my gosh, I've got to be on Twitter. I've got to follow these people. That's the front news information. Now it makes it easier when your friend Somi, he has a YouTube, okay, which is covering the Twitter here for you. That's why, well, I'm like, you know, like basically like changed the game completely. But before, before you had this opportunity, everyone had to be on Twitter. And what these people will do is they'll go to the biggest market cap coins or the biggest movers that all got the attention and they just start tagging them. Hey, XRP, you reckon it can hit three bucks? Right? Hey, Ethereum, reckon it can hit $10,000? Right? Hey, this coin. Right? Hey, Theta, reckon you'll flip Ethereum and stuff? Like, you know, they just throw stuff like that. And then you have people just running right into it, baiting it, and the account grows bigger. They just like absorb people in. But then they just end up being just a bunch of engagement baiting stuff. But Ultimately, that is a strategy to yield farm an audience. It's yield farming attention, okay? I'm not about that, and you shouldn't be about that either. Because Don't let yourself get fooled into that because that's not actually, that's what makes you the most wealth, friends. What makes you the most wealth is what we're doing right now, going against the herd, fading the crown. You see that? So um, I have all this amazing content. I, I Friends, you see it in my blood. Do you think this helicopter hat, gives one flying truck if I don't have a million people worshipping me saying, oh, I want to invite you to Token Paul. I want to come invite you on a stage. Oh, please take this mic. I don't give it. I don't care, dude. I don't care. And by the way, their mic, our signal, right? We already know. Hey, hey, do you respect me yet? Nope. Okay, sweet. We're still cheap. <laughs> That's it. It's a check. Hey, do you like me yet? You kind of like me. Okay. We're about halfway, guys. I'll come back and report to you. That's how I'm confused. So it's going to be the world's greatest self-signal Trade, <laughs> trade of all time. That'd be funny. Like, can you, friends? It'd just be funny. Imagine Bitcoin prints two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Okay, imagine Bitcoin prints two hundred twenty thousand dollars, and I'm on like Crypto Banter Show, and they're like, "Well, how did you do it?" And I'll be like, "Bro, just start clicking sell, everyone. Everyone, start clicking sell right now. This has been like three and a half years in the making. Click sell right now." I'm hoping all those portfolio prices that you're witnessing in front of you, I hope they're in a much, much, much healthier position, friends. So it helps to be self-aware, doesn't it? Well, all these other people, they don't, they really don't, they don't, they don't do that whatsoever because they're, your friends, you're going you're gonna to see them do it all over again. All those people who, are in, they're in stable coins, they're not, they're not turbo long at whatsoever, okay? They're going to go flip turbo long, then they're going to farm their audience, Okay, they're going to make their income, however they make their income. And then in the next bear market, they're going to go gaslight everybody and say, oh, stupid scam. <laughs> you gambled. You just lost all your money. You deserve it. Okay, we're not about that. We are still dreaming of the big picture. We can still see the future. And we're here for the biggest slingshot leverage. Okay, slingshot leverage does not mean you get approval from the crown. Okay, it's the opposite. In fact, it's like a paradox to get the same thing. You can't get the same thing. To get the biggest slingshot, you have to buy the deepest value contrarian stuff. You have to be the lowest price, which means by definition, most people hate it. And why do most people hate it? Because the market, which is everyone, has given it only like a 1% chance of survival rate. And you think it's more like a 90%. I wonder if that reminds me of any coins. Hmm. Make sure you like, subscribe, catch you in the next one.